and welcome to the grand opening and ribbon cutting of Cindy's Front Porch. Commerce. And I'd like to take a moment to congratulate Monty's on this expansive revitalization and continued success. Melody, we're going to cut the music. Ten seconds. Well, that's not our music. It's their music. Never mind. Regretfully, <laughs> Marianne Miller, our Tiffany Chamber President and CEO, is out of town and unable to attend this evening. But she sends her congratulations and sincerest gratitude for Monty's long-lasting presence in our community and Tempe Chamber of Commerce member since 1957. Thank you for 56 years of partnership with the Tempe business community. We are privileged to have with us this evening a very special guest. Mr. Hugh Holman served as mayor of Tempe from 2004 to 2012, a position that relied upon his background as a public servant, economist, educator, and attorney during his tenure. Yeah. Now, a Republican candidate for Arizona governor, please welcome to share with us a few words former city of Tempe mayor, Hugh Holman. Thank you all very much. I'm trying to make this fast, but I am a politician, so that's unlike me. We are here because of a great partnership and a lot of people working together. You see things around you that did not exist two years ago. First, Michael Monti had the vision of trying to create something here on the front porch for Tempe that would re reinvigorate this space. It used to be a parking lot, but when we built Rio Salado in 1996, it destroyed the space for use as a parking lot and created so much noise from the traffic that it undermined it as a space to enjoy outside. So it was Michael's vision to ask the city of Tempe and the Rio Salado Foundation to work together to recreate the mill site. So go visit that across the street after you fill yourself with libations and lovely foods, right? Morsels. Walk it off. Walk it off, that's it. So you can see the historic mill site uh, that has been recreated so you can enjoy the outdoor areas and there's going to be a concert there this evening. A monument that some people look at and say, what in the hell is that here for? <laughs> that is here to do two things. It creates a noise barrier that takes out about 50% of the noise from Mel and Rio Salado, but it also celebrates the Native American communities to go look at the monument on the other side. Okay. And then finally, the Gabian walls here that help create a traffic break, but also tie this site with the river rocks to the side across the street. It was Michael's vision to bring Tempe Beach Park and its environs back across the street to Mill Avenue and connect the lake and Mill Avenue to the Mill and Lake District. And where is Nancy Harmon? Nancy, where are you? She went to get the band quieted. The head of the DTC was essential for that, but so was the Rio Salado Foundation and one of its founding directors, the first directly elected mayor of the city of Tempe and wonderful human being, charming fellow, Rudy Campbell. I'm just glad to be alive to be here to see this celebration. I wasn't sure I was going to make it, but congratulations to you and all the people that made it possible. Rudy, of course, came to Tempe the same year that Michael Monti's father, Leonard, came to Tempe in 1954. Rudy was the banker, Leonard was the restaurateur, and the rest, of course, is history. Thank you all for being here, part of Tempe's history, to recreate an opportunity for everybody to enjoy this wonderful space. It is my privilege and honor to turn the microphone over to the leading restaurateur in Tempe, Michael Monti. Thank you, Hugh Holman. I'd like to really just thank you all for being here tonight. This is such an important evening for us, and I'm so grateful. First of all, Melody, thanks to you and the Chamber for organizing this event and helping us christen our, our, our patio here. Um, I don't know where the heck my partner Eddie is. He's supposed to be here, uh, but he's probably stuck in the traffic from those classic cars up the street. 
amazing classic car show going on, but I want to thank my partner in this business, Eddie Goynia. Uh, I want to thank my fantastic crew for their hard work. Yeah. My managers and crew had to experience a form of schizophrenia for the last year. They had to continue to deliver on the Monty's promise and the Monty's tradition inside while trying to capture a whole new mindset and wanted to deliver and execute a new menu and drink list and concept outside. And they pulled it off. Um, I'd also like to say Don Hasselak is here tonight, our architect, Big Red Rooster. Again. To create the vision for this and, the, and, and bring it forth is very important. Uh, and of course, I have to thank my wife, Kristen, who also hasn't showed up yet, but is on her way. And I have to especially thank her because she stopped me from making disastrous color choices and uh, other big mistakes. Dress me tonight. Um, finally, uh, I've got to put in a special word for our, Jeff, our chef Jimmy and his modern Latin cuisine that I hope you're uh, When we did this, and I'm going to get to Jimmy in a second, when we did this, the goal was to take this patio, this blank space encircled by an old iron fence that was created, as Hugh Hallman said, by right of way being taken by the city, and how can I turn it into something that's really meaningful for people? And we had a choice. I'm the proprietor of the oldest continuously occupied structure in central Arizona, the founding pioneer home of Tempe, and the question was, do we continue outside with the western motif? You know, am I going to do wagon wheels and rusty spurs out here, more of the same old stuff? Or am I going to do something that captures the vibe of Mill Avenue? And we took a risk, we gambled, and we made that choice for contemporary, modern, urban, forward-looking, vibrant, bold, spicy flavor, and fresh squeezed juice in the cocktail. And that was the goal, to pull that off in a contemporary, really modern-looking setting. And so I said to Jimmy, okay, you ready to make this menu up? And he says, what do you want on the menu? And I said, be bold and surprise me. And this is what he came up with tonight, so I want to give him some credit. <laughs> Finally, after we made that little choice to turn our backs on going retro out here and go forward in the future, you know, we had to, uh, <clears throat> we had to go with a new name. Because the logo that you see in the name we chose is a warning. It's a warning that says don't expect the same old stuff. Inside, we honor tradition and authentic Western hospitality. But out here, we're going to continue that tradition and hospitality in a new way. So we created a new logo, and we had a contest, and one of our winners, Sean Don, who is in the chamber, is here tonight. Two people. Two people said front porch, to which we added Tempe. Tempe's front porch. Why? Because thanks to that flour mill renovation and opening up, thanks to these abstract monuments here on the corner, when you come across that bridge and you see our Gabion walls and the monuments and the activity over there, you're coming into Tempe's front porch. And I think it says everything we wanted to say about hospitality and welcoming and hanging out with people you care about. So uh, anyway, thank you for being here tonight. I want to have, let you know that tonight we're collecting for the Tempe Diablo Foundation, for Tempe Diablo Charities, one of the great causes for Tempe Youth Sports and uh, scholarships for, for the youth of our community. We're going to have a, a jar or a box out in front. If you have a moment, please drop something in there for the Tempe Diablo Foundation tonight. And other than that, eat, drink, and be merry. Let's cut the ribbon. Yeah, ambassadors, definitely. On this side? We should, uh, let's get uh, some uniform crew in here. On either side of the... Uh, and by the way, you know that wall was put up earlier. You can go down and fall out. Okay. Yeah, can we get... Can we get some uh, TFP people here? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that little... There we go. It's a... It's a drone. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Be careful. Grab the top. Yeah, yeah. Get a hand on this. Why don't we put a Michael oh, Flynn? Where are we looking? Right there. Maybe it's Eddie. All right. We're going to count down from three. Right over there. At one, we're going to say. Your fingers are out of the middle. Monty's. 
Michael, Ten piece for the middle. Ten piece for the Alright, on one, we're going to do ten piece rock Three, right there. two, one. Ten piece! 